Hello everyone. Welcome to the data acquisition part of this case study. In the previous video, uh, we learned that Land Reality Consult wanted to construct townhouses within a poor residential area. Based on that, uh, Alibaba was employed as a GIS technician and he was tasked to carry out some spatial analysis using geographic information system to help management to take an informed decision as to whether to invest in the construction of the townhouses within a specific radius or to invest in another land use type. Investing in the townhouses uh, will depend on the number of competitors within a specific radius. Uh, places that are more concentrated uh, with competitors are more likely to be avoidable areas. And the areas with less competitors uh, can be a good area uh, to set up these uh, townhouses. So uh, this video will be based on data acquisition part of this case study. How would um, Alibaba acquire his data to execute this case study. As I indicated in the previous video, there are two main types of GIS data types or data formats. One is vector data and the second one is raster data. For the purpose of this case study, we are going to talk more or we are going to concentrate on vector data, that is points, lines, polygons. So uh, I'm going to show you two main sites uh, to download vector data uh, to execute this case study. One place is BB Bikes. BB Bikes is a GIS website where you can download uh, shape files of vector data. And another uh, website that you can download spatial data in the form of vector data is Dava GIS. So let's start with how to download data from BB Bikes. So just go to your Google Chrome or any kind of browser and then type BB Bikes. BB Bikes click on the first one bb bike extract open street map click on it so the website is this this is the website so you can look at it and tap it and, and browse to this interface so the first part is what data format These are different kind of data format that you can store the data. But we are interested in the S3 shape files. S3 shape files is a form of data format that can easily be interpreted by most GI softwares. So let's save this data in shape files, 
S3 shape files. And this another second part is the name of the area to extract. So you should write down the name of the area that you want to extract here. And the last part is your email address. You put your email address here because they will email the link to you for you to download. So you don't just download the data straight from this interface. A link will be provided to you through your email for you to download. Meaning that you should provide a very correct and verifiable email. So this is my email, wfsalifagmail.com. So this is a navigation panel. When you click on the plus, it's zooming into the map so that you have much details. Plus, it is zooming in so that you have much uh, details. You see, so let's zoom out. The manual is you are zooming out to have less details. So let's go to Africa. So zoom out so that we can see the continental map of Africa. Zoom out. Zoom out. This is the continental map of Africa. Have you seen it? And you know the location of Ghana. You know where Ghana is located. This is Ghana. You can see our uh, Ghana map. Scroll down. You can use this manuals or class. Or you can use the, the your mouse to scroll down. This is Accra. As I am interested in the airport residential area of Accra. This is airport residential area. This airport. Airport. Okay. This is our area of interest. So when you get this, then you write the name of the place that you want to extract the data from. See airport residential area. That is it. And you see these are buildings, road networks, railway, points. So we are trying to extract all this data from the BB Bikes website into shape files. So after you fill everything here, just click here. That is the boundary of where you're going to do the extraction. It has clearly demarcated uh, the area that you are going to extract your information from. So when you click in the middle of uh, the demarcated area, the color changes so you can move to your desired location. You can also increase the place that you want to download. If you want to cover more area, you can enlarge it. If you want less area, you can reduce it. So depending on your interest, you can adjust this area to fit your needs. So after getting what you want for me i'm i'm okay with this just click extract you see pay attention to this it takes between two to seven minutes to extract an area from planet.osm meaning that it takes about two to seven minutes 
before you receive an email alert with a link to download the data set. It has given us an area. It has given us an area. Airport residential area covers two square kilometers. And these are the coordinates. And then the format is Schaefer. And they are saying that you can monitor the status of your request on the service status page. Press the back button to get the same area in different format or to request a new area. So if you want a new area, you just press on this back button to go back to the same interface that we saw when we initially uh, navigated our way to the website. And one interesting thing about this website is that it is a, an open source, meaning that it's a free website, GIS website that you can download amazing data sets uh, to carry out your analysis. But if you have money and you think that you can help the BB bikes, you can donate. So let's go to our Gmail to see whether they have sent the link to me. So let me go Gmail. Yes, a link has been sent to me and this is it. Open the link and the link and the subject of the email is BB bike extract area airport residential area format is go to shp.zip that ship that zip is ready for download okay they're telling us and they say hi you requested open street map area airport residential area was extracted from planet.osm to download the file please click on the following link just click on the link and wait patiently yeah it has downloaded that is it it has downloaded so now we are done with how to download vector data from bb bikes website now i want to show you another website that you can download uh, special data and that website is uh, diver gis diver dash gis dot org slash data download so click enter diver gis they are saying that it's free, simple, and effective. It is true. It has the simplest uh, data interface that you can easily download. And it is uh, free. And in fact, it is very, very effective. So just download data by country. Select and download free geographic GIS data for any country in the world. Country. So you choose the country that you are interested. If you are interested in Afghanistan, you can download. For interest in Nigeria, Kenya. But I am interested in Ghana. I hope you should also be interested in Ghana. What am I doing? I'm rather choosing Greece. <laughs> I don't have anything to do with Greece, man. Okay, Ghana. And this is the data set that is available. You can download administrative areas. This talks about um, the map of Ghana, the regional map of Ghana, the boundaries. So that's about administrative areas. It also contains um, the boundaries of districts in Ghana, regional capitals, and so on. So, if you choose administrative, these are some of the data sets that you will be seeing. 
we have inland water we have roads and we also have railroads and we have elevation and then we have land cover land cover are the different kind of um, land uses classified within a specific area in Ghana for example we have maybe vegetation built up um, bare soil and so on these are land covers different kind of land covers if you want something on that nature you can download it from Dava GIS and also our population uh, here is talk about the population density that uh, they give a limit if maybe two colors if red means high density areas maybe green means that places with less uh, density so if you want you can even download this population and then during your analysis of uh, uh, your case study you can overlay the population to see areas that have more people and areas that have less people all this can inform or give you an informed decision as to whether to really construct in areas where there are more people and less competitors and so on so all these are open for uh, incorporation into your case study if you want to go that way and we have um, that is basically all that is so I am interested in the administrative areas I want to have the um, the district that we are working to be displayed on ArcGIS so I select administrative areas and click OK and wait and this is the place for you to download country Ghana subject administrative areas GADM then you click download okay so if you want population to you can go back Ghana and then uh, population and then click of okay. and click on download yeah the data has also been uh, downloaded you need to go to download select all the three data that we have downloaded look at them this one two three two are from the Dava GIS and the last one is the planet from the um, the BB bikes so you can copy them and you create a, a folder specially designed or made for this project case study so you can just put it on your desktop or drive C so for me I'll put in my desktop I have a folder that I do most of my work so here you can just right click and create a new folder inside a place I've already created one which is a real estate folder and this is the data that I have display or pasted it after this uh, pasting it you need to extract them to the folders extract to the folders and after that you are now done with this uh, video so thank you very much for watching this video and participating uh, on how to acquire spatial data for the case study so meet me in the next our video that would be how the analysis will be carried out thank you